What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Chris's Custom Collectibles and today it's something a little bit different. Today it's a custom apparel collectible. Now today I'm gonna have the help of somebody. I've got Bianca helping me today. We're gonna be helping her with her Margot Robbie Harlequin cosplay. This is a video for the ladies because I know with the upcoming release of Suicide Squad in under a month there's gonna be a lot of Margot Robbie Harlequin cosplays out there. And if some girls or guys, if that's what you're going for, fucking more power to you. If you're unsure of what to do in terms of weathering and making it look like it's a screen you shirt, then hopefully this video tutorial will help you out. Now, if you look at the runtime of this video, this video doesn't go for that long. That's because this job does not take long at all. It's simple, effective, and it makes a world of difference. The item we're gonna be customizing today is the Icon Collectibles Harlequin Daddy's Little Monster shirt from Suicide Squad. If you look at a picture here, this is a stock photo of the shirt and you can see right off the bat it is a perfect start to a Margot Robbie Harlequin costume but there are some alterations we can make to this shirt to bring it up just that little bit more to make it screen accurate. Now if you compare this shirt to the one that Margot Robbie wears you'll notice that Margot Robbie's shirt is a lot longer. She is pretty tall. Bianca's about five foot two so this shirt is a little bit shorter so we do have to work around that in terms of scaling all the patterns and the cuts and the sewing. Now I have collected a lot of reference material in terms of publicity stills, behind the scenes stuff, the cover of the Empire magazine and I've come to the conclusion that no shirt is the same with the screen use shirts. They look similar but they are not identical. Some things change. It could be to do with the story in the film where she could be stitching it up. I don't know. Obviously, I haven't seen the film yet, but we are going off the basic idea of it has been crudely stitched back together and we are going to be adding some extra bits of weathering. Now, like I mentioned, Bianca is going to be doing a cosplay of Margot Robbie's Harlequin. Uh, Bianca is a aspiring cosplayer and she also does her own sketches of hybrids of Disney princesses, DC characters, Marvel characters you can see right here. She does some amazing stuff and I'll leave the link for her Instagram page down below and you can check out the rest of her amazing work. Now the things you're going to need to pimp out this shirt are some Creators Effects acrylic wash from Testers. You guys know I use this stuff a lot when it comes to the other custom collectibles. I swear by this stuff. I think this is $10 for this little vial here. Now because we are going to be cutting into the shirt, it is a factory made shirt so some parts of the shirt are not a solid blue or red. It's just an ink that has been put over a white shirt. So to fill in the areas where we do cut where there is red or blue, we're just gonna be filling them in, and I kid you not, with red and blue food coloring, just cochineal. Now, if you're gonna think this is gonna run off onto your skin, uh, at first it will, but once it dries and you rub it into the material, it will set and it will not come off, and it blends in perfectly with the rest of the shirt. I think these are a dollar each from Coles or Woolworths or you know whatever your local grocery store is. Now, we are gonna be breaking the shirt down in terms of tearing it up and then sewing it back together crudely, so for that, you're obviously gonna need a white and black thread and needle. And to start off, we are gonna take some sandpaper to the Daddy's Little Monster logo and just sandpaper away at it just to make it look a bit more used and faded so it's not a solid black. Now whilst we were doing this I just filmed random parts and tried to pick up every step along the way so I'm just going to do a commentary over it so I hope you guys enjoy. Hope it helps you guys out if you are cosplaying as Margot Robbie's Harlequin and are unsure in terms of weathering this shirt. Now I'll provide the links down below to Icon Collectibles and Pop Culture. Icon Collectibles obviously make the shirt. Pop Culture is where Bianca purchased the shirt. I think it was 39 Australian dollars which when you think about it is pretty good because this is an amazing looking replica shirt to start off with. Obviously it does need some work, but it doesn't take long to do this type of stuff, guys. It took us all but two hours to do. You could do it in an even shorter amount of time. So with that being said, let's get to it. Okay, first up, we're gonna be removing bits of that Daddy's Little Monster logo just with some standard sandpaper, guys. This is a very quick job. Now, this makes a world of difference. As you can see there, I'm starting to go in with a Stanley knife and start to make those cuts and shreds that are going all over the torso area. Now, obviously, some parts we are gonna re-stitch back together and we are fraying also the hems at the ends of the shirt. Now Bianca's re-stitching the shirt back together where it's necessary, so some parts have been re-stitched together. Bianca's a much better stitcher than I am, so she was very patient with doing this. It was a nice, neat job, yet at the same time kind of crude looking. As you can see, it's bunched upwards, not inwards, and that's what we want. We still want exposed areas you can see right there that are still opened up. Now we're gonna get our blue and red food coloring, and because I opened up the neck area, 
it's showing white underneath. So we're just going to go back in with some red food coloring and just dye the, uh, the exposed white areas and wipe the excess off. And when it dries, it doesn't even get on your skin, guys. And I'm going back in here with some blue food coloring. As you can see, they're just to match up that bit of the shirt, just to make it look a bit more messy and just get some of that blue food coloring on the red stripes there to make it look like it's bled into the stripes. And just lightly going back over with some red food coloring in between the two red stripes on the other arm. And now it's time for the acrylic wash and I'm just going in where the collar is there. As you can see on Margot Robbie's shirt, there's some, you know, soot soiling, just dirt under there in those underlying areas there, going back in and just very lightly putting some wash on there and rubbing it with my fingers just to rub it into the material. And I'm doing the same thing with the torso area there where the black stitching is going to go just to give it a bit more structure and a bit more of a bleeding look like it's dyed and bled out into the white area of the shirt. Now Bianca is doing the final touches with the black stitching. Now I love this. This is just crude cross stitching that we've got going up the torso and then across the uh, chest area. Now once this was all done, I went back over with some of the black acrylic wash and very lightly just weathered certain areas just to give it a bit more of a soil look so it's not so clean and pristine looking. And that's it guys, you can see Bianca's doing the stitching across the chest. So with that being said, let's check out the final result. So thanks very much for watching guys. If you had any questions, queries, anything you're unsure of in this very short tutorial, please drop a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Like I said, I wanna do something for the lady cosplayers. As always, thank you very much for your continuing support and watching and until next time, guys, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.